your head off. You're such a wood. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You know it. Ugh, you're always so mean to me. I'm trying to be the nicest I can. You better not hurt her. Mom! <sighs> Mom, Aurora needs you. Alex took one of her dolls and he won't give it back. Tell him to give it back before I beat his ass with it. Alex, Mom said to give Aurora back her dolls and she's going to beat you with it. Fine. Did he go cry, baby? As a follow-up to my exclusive story from last week, authorities tell me that the growing number of families crossing the border is putting strain on holding facilities and other critical resources. Kate has an update. Katie? Thank you, Jim. In a new twist, not only are parents being separated from their children, but also older and younger siblings are being separated from each other. Time. Oh, Bella hasn't finished her dance with the prince. Oh, I think there will be plenty of time for your highness to dance tomorrow. What do you say? Okay. Good. All right, hop under the covers. Oh, there we go. You want Mr. Sheep to sleep with you? <laughs> Good night, I love you. I love you too, Mommy. Come on, it's bedtime. Why can't I stay up late like William? <sighs> because I've had enough of your ass today and you have school tomorrow. Yeah, but tomorrow's a half day. Plus, I'm not even tired. I know, just come on, get in bed. Close your eyes and you'll fall asleep, okay? Good night. Hey, bud, it's bedtime. Can you please finish this chapter first? How about you don't? And say that you did. I need some me time. All right. Thanks. Love you. Love you. Good night. Good night. Only one more day till I ship you pains in the asses off somewhere else for the summer. Ship me to Disney World. Just put me in a pirate ship and I'll be happy. <sighs> we would all be happy if she did that. <laughs> uh, I have a um, couple errands I have to run, so if um, I'm not home and the other two get out, just let them in and I'll, I'll be home later, okay? Mom. You said you would take us out for pizza later. So don't go spending your money on all that crap. Do not tell me what I can spend my money on. Do you understand me? Don't tell me that. Get your ass in school. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, William. Everything all right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Everything's all right. Anything I can help you with? No, not at the moment. Okay, I'll see you in class. You know, if you ever need anything or need any help, you can come to me. Yes, ma'am. I understand. Thank you.
What do you need? Just give me the shit. You know that loan's coming due, so you know what happens if you're late. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get your money. Don't worry about it. Well, there are other ways. You know, a hot looking milk like yourself can pay back that loan. Are you? I said I would get you your money. That's it for today. I'll see y'all next year. Bye, bye. Thanks, Miss Robinson. You have a great summer. Thank you. Oh, I was hoping you could join book club this summer. We meet the second Wednesday of every month, and a winner gets a free Kindle. Thanks, Miss Robinson. You know I'll be there. Hey, hon. Mm. What's wrong? It's one of my students. William? I'm just a little worried about him. What's been going on? Well, since his dad passed, he's been different, and it seems to be getting worse. This morning, he was super upset about something. Mm. Tell you what, I'll drive by his house and make sure everything's all right. Really, guys? She's in bed, and her eyes are open. Hmm. Tell you what, you guys stay in here and watch cartoons, and I'll go check on Mom, okay? I'm hungry. Me too. speeding bullets. Born from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending... Is mommy all right? Uh, yeah, she's all right. She just needs her rest. She's tired, okay? We can be quiet and let her sleep. All right, good. Do y'all want mac and cheese? I thought mom was getting pizza for dinner. As I said, She's tired and needs her rest, okay? So do you want mac and cheese or not? Yes! yes. Man, this mac and cheese is so good. I wonder if Bella would like mac and cheese. 
Do you mean your stupid plastic princess doll? She's not just a doll. Stop. You know, mac and cheese is way better than mom's. I bet mom would really enjoy it. We should go get her and see if she wants some. No. Why not? Because she is dead. <laughs> Funny joke, William. No. I'm serious. I'm sorry, but I couldn't keep it hidden from you guys forever. No. She can't be dead. She just makes me really, really tired. Laura. No, I want to see Mommy. I want to see Mommy now. I want to see Mommy, too. Trust me. You don't want to see Mom this way. Yeah, but we just can't leave her in there. We gotta call someone. <gasps> no, we can't tell a single soul. Because if we do, Border Patrol will come, bust through our door, take us all away, and we'll never see each other again. But then who's gonna take care of us? I'll take care of us, okay? Y'all don't worry about Mom. I got that under control, all right? Hey, Rora, what are you doing? Trying to find something to eat. Uh, just get some cereal, all right? Don't have milk or cereal. Uh, all right. Hold on. Looks like we're going grocery shopping. I'm hungry. What's for breakfast? <laughs> we're getting this one. No, we're getting this one. No, guys, from back. We gotta eat healthy, so we're getting this one. Potato chips and cheese mix, or what do you like? Um, I really like the corn chips. William? Oh, hey, Mrs. Robinson. What are you guys doing here? Oh, we're just doing some grocery shopping. Where's your mom? She's sick. She's not feeling well, so we decided to do some grocery shopping. Oh, I hope she feels better enough to get you to our first book club this Wednesday. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. It's just a small cold. So where are your parents? Oh, our dad died five years ago and our mom's not feeling well. Yeah, our mom is sick. How old are y'all? I'm six. <laughs> I'm 12 and he's eight. The total is $47.50. It's seven more dollars than I calculated. Um, Enter the pin on the pad there, sweetie.
All right, Alex, it's time to get ready for bed. Oh, but I want to complete this level first. How about no? You got to get ready for bed. Now do what I say. No, my mom. You can't tell me what to do. I'm the oldest, so I'm in charge. Stop bossing me around. Leave me alone. Stop it. I want mommy back. Do you see what you've done now, Alex? Now I'm not going to say it again. You get your ass in the shower now. Hey, Aurora. I know you miss Mommy. You know I miss her, too. But she's not coming back. We got to understand that. Why did Mommy have to die? I don't know. I really don't know. It's not fair. She never hurt anyone. I want her to wake up. You know, I want her to wake up, too. That's not going to happen. And we're just going to have to stay strong, all right? I could be strong, but why do you have to fight like that? You see, sometimes we don't see eye to eye. And it can lead to arguments like that. But that doesn't mean we don't love each other. We do. We just have to stick together as a family and not let something like this tear us apart, okay? Can you read me a bedtime story just like Mommy? It's Bedtime, Little Critter, by Mercer Mayer. I'm a cowboy, and I round up cows. I can lasso anything. Me time. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, hi. Mm. Hey, little lady, is your mother here? She is sick right now. Is there um anything I can help you with? Yeah. You can move your little ass out the way and uh, I don't care how sick she is, I need to speak with her right now. Is there a problem here? No, officer, no problem here. I was just leaving. Tell your mom I hope she feels better. I'll talk to her real soon. Is everything okay? Um, yes, sir. Everything's all right. What are you doing here? Maria wanted me to come and check on you. She's very concerned about you. I promise everything's all right. My mom's just been sick, but she's getting better. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like it. Who's that jerk from earlier? Um, I don't know. Why did he even want it anyway? I have no idea. I'm sure he had the wrong house. What are you doing? Trying to pay these bills so our water don't get shut off. Can we get donuts? Yeah. I don't think I'll have the money after paying all these bills. Until Mom's next check comes in in about two weeks. Can we just use the food stamp card? The donut shop doesn't accept it. I guess we're just eating cereal, Hot Pockets, and ramen noodles for the next two weeks. That sucks. Cool. Why are we here? Listen, guys. We gotta try and make it seem like everything is normal, all right? So that's why we are here. So how long is that gonna take? About an hour. But if you two are good, we'll go get ice cream after this, okay? I want strawberry, two scoops. 
All right then. Now go have fun. I'm only here because my iPad's over six months old and my dad won't give me a new one. As I was saying, since this is our first meeting, why don't we introduce ourselves and the books we'll be reading? Let's start with Jimmy. Oh, uh, thanks, Mrs. R. Uh, I'm gonna be reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and I've always wanted to know what it was like for the other part of society to live. I'm gonna be reading these Green Lantern comic books my grandfather gave me, because Green Lantern is so much more badass than Ryan Reynolds played him out to be in the movies. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. I guess we can count comic if no one objects. Okay. Riley? Oh, well, I'm reading Harry Potter again this summer. <laughs> William, looks like it's your turn. Um, I'll be reading Where the Red Fern Grows. It was my dad's favorite book, so when he gave it to me, I decided to read it. Thank you, William. I look forward to hearing your review. Okay, that's it for today. Remember, we meet the second Wednesday of the month at one. Hey, William. I saw that you had to bring your brother and sister in today. Is everything all right with your mother? Yes, ma'am. Everything's all right. It's just that our mother's still a little bit sick, so I decided to bring my siblings just in case. Okay, just wanted to check up. All right, thank you. And the papa bear said, somebody has been sleeping in my bed. Then the great huge bear and his great rough Rough voice and golden rocks have had poor boo. Hey, we are Hey, You ready to go get ice cream? All right. I wish Mom could go with us. I miss her. I wish she could go with us too. All right. Say goodbye to all your friends and let's get going. Where's your mother? She's at home. She's not feeling well. We need your mom here to sign the authorization to help your sister. Just let me sign it. I'm a family member. Well, do you have insurance? I don't know. I think so. Do you know if you have your insurance information with you? No, it's in my mom's purse. Look, honey, we cannot help your sister until there's an adult here to give us the information and authorization that we need. You don't understand. I'm the mom now. What? I need to use your phone. You okay? She's gonna be here any minute. And then there's this really good person too. Here's a story you definitely don't hear every day. Three youths, all under the age of 13, lived in their house for over three months with their dead mother in her bedroom. According to authorities, 
the three children aged six, eight, and 12 used their mother's debit card and food assistance card to survive without adult supervision. The deceased mother was found at approximately 8 p.m. on Thursday evening. Crime scene investigators released information that the children used scented products to hide the effects of her death. According to the DA's office, they will not be filing any charges in this case, as it appears the mother died of an accidental drug overdose. Authorities say the children have no other family and will be living in a foster home for the time being. This is Kate Hallahan with Eyewitness News.
shades of you. you